Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm here with this tutorial for the bracelet that you are looking at right now. I have two different color versions here up close so you can check those out. This one here was inspired by the Serene Lavender Collection by Eureka Crystal Beads and I will leave a link to that as well as all the products that I'll be using today down below. They happen to have all of these different fun shapes in a variety of different colors, so you'll have to check them out and see what color combo speaks to you. As you can see with everything laid out, we are going to be using some bugle beads, some 2 by 4 millimeter check glass teacups, some Miyuki Tila's, and two whole Checkmates Crescents. Now, if you're newer to bead weaving, don't be too intimidated by this particular project. It's actually pretty simple. So if you have some bead weaving experience, that will be for the best, but maybe you're newer to working with two whole shapes. This would be a good project to get you a little bit more comfortable with that. Today, we'll be using two beading needles as well as some six pound fire line. I recommend using a couple of wire guards at each end to protect your piece. They're not very pricey and definitely worth having some of those on hand as well as of course your jump rings or split rings, the clasp of your choice, and some pliers and scissors. All of the specifics will be included down below the video, so check that out. And in the meantime, thread your two beading needles with approximately four feet of beading thread and we will get started. All right, so I have one side of my thread in each hand, one needle on each side, and the first thing we wanna do is string on one of our wire guards. So pop a needle through each side of your wire guard, just like that, and pull the wire guard down to about the midway point of your thread so that it is nestled right in that loop and the loop of thread is going around the groove. Now take a moment to get yourself situated. Get your bearings, separate your two sides of thread and get your needles ready. What we wanna do next is string on three of our crescent beads. So I'm just gonna put that needle down for now and pick up my right hand needle. And I'm gonna go through the right hand side of these crescents. You wanna make sure that they are all facing in the same direction, just like that. And I'm actually going to take my left hand needle and since I have these all stacked up nicely, I'm just going to feed my left hand needle through there as well. So you want both your needles going through three crescents and pull those down toward the wire guard. And as you go, you want to make sure your crescent beads that you string on are all facing in that same direction. Next, we're going to be stringing on one teacup bead on each side and we want to go through the rounded side first. So that's on my right, and then I can pick one up for my left side, just like that, and we'll pull that down. And now we're going to take both of our needles again, and we want to go through one of our Tila beads. So you can go through both of those at once and pull that down. And now we're ready for another teacup on each side. This time we're gonna go through the hollowed out side first. So I have that one on the right side, and then I'm going to pick up one on the left side, going through the opposite direction of what we did before. And this is the sequence we're gonna string on 10 times, so nine more times if you're looking to have about a approximately seven inch bracelet, including your clasp. So let's do one more set together, picking up three of your crescent beads and going through the right side, as well as the left side. And you can do those all at once if you'd like to. And pulling those down. Then a teacup on each side, going through the curved side first. and then a Tila bead, both needles going through those. Now, fun fact, there is a top and a bottom to Tila beads, but it's not that noticeable. So if it matters to you, then you can decide if you want them all facing the same direction. It's pretty subtle. I'm just going to not worry about it for this particular piece. And now our teacups on either side again, this time going through the Hollowed outside first. 
and we'll pull those down. And that is all there is to the first step of this bracelet. So just complete that same sequence as many times as you'd like until you reach your desired length. I'm gonna do this eight more times now, and then we'll meet back and continue on with the next step. All right, guys, welcome back. So that's 10 segments. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're ending on three crescents so that each side matches. And at this point, we're ready to add on our wire guard to the other side of our piece. And the only beads left to use are the bugle. So I have cleared everything else away. One other thing you'll notice, the teacups are looking a little bit wonky. They're not sitting directly side by side in each of these cases, and that is totally fine. Those will straighten up as we add the bugle beads in and as we go. I'm gonna turn this piece so it's a little bit easier for me to work. And we wanna pick up our wire guard and go through both sides of that with our needles. One needle going through each side. and then pulling that down, getting yourself situated again. And now we want to cross our needles around the wire guard and they're gonna be going in the opposite direction. So with my right hand needle, I am going around the wire guard through the left side and I wanna be coming out the first teacup bead that I get to on the left side. And take a moment to make sure your thread sits in the wire guard neatly and I'm setting that down and picking up my left hand thread and I'm swinging this needle around through the right side and again going through the three crescents and the teacup. Getting that in place, not pulling too terribly tight, but you don't want any big gaps in your beads at this point either. And now we are going to be adding in a bugle bead over top of each tila and in between each set of teacups. So I'm coming out of the teacup here on the right and I'm gonna go through the teacup that I get to next as well as the next three crescents and that next teacup. And when we pull this, you can see that the bugle bead sits perfectly right into place on top of the tila bead and just slightly off to the side. We're gonna do this again, picking up a bugle bead and going through the teacup, the three crescents, and the next teacup. Now, if your bugle wants to sit off to the side or underneath, just take your needle and gently guide it so that it will be sitting over top of the tila. And it will be easier if you do both of these sides at the same time, so you can start to tighten this up and straighten it as you go. So let's do a couple on the left side, pick up a bugle, go through the teacup, three crescents and the teacup, just like we did on the other side, and start pulling these together. You can pull both ends at once so that the bugle starts sitting over top of the teela beads and those teacups start to close in on the bugles. I'll do another one on the left side, picking up a bugle, going through a teacup, the three crescents, and another teacup. Once again, I'm gonna pull these threads simultaneously so you can see how they close over top of the teela bead. And you get that nice shine reflecting from the background and those bugles frame it really nicely. So continue with that step all the way down till you reach the end of your bracelet and we will meet back. All right, welcome back again. So I have tied and knotted off one side and I have this remaining side. I just went through the wire guard and swung around that again and then just fed my needle through some of these beads to get into position to make some little knots. So there's one there that I'll make. I'll go through some more beads and make another one and make at least three of these little half inch knots. Hiding your thread as you go and make as many as you'd like. Also making sure that your bugles are still staying on top of the tilas and the tilas are popped back here like this. And now we can trim off our thread 
I'm using some split rings today because I need to get more antique brass colored jump rings. So I'm just using my split ring tool to help me out. And then start to pop on the clasp. And I'm using a magnetic clasp today just because they are so easy to get on and off. There we go. So there is a look at our finished bracelet. And here it is on my wrist. I just love those little glimmers of metallic that come through from the Tila's. So if you use those, especially with a metallic or some type of a luster, they will look pretty cool. As a reminder, the full materials list will be right down below the video, as well as links to where you can find all of these products at eurekacrystalbeads.com, which I highly recommend, plus lots of other colors and lots of other types of beads. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I always love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And I would love to have you as a subscriber, so don't forget to hit that button while you're there. You can also follow me on my social media channels, which are linked right down below the video as well. And pop over and check out my website and blog at orchidandopal.com. I hope to have you back soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And as always, happy beating.